country art form and tradition that is a large part of what makes Charleston Charleston. We're talking about sweet grass basket weaving. News 2's Berkeley County reporter Raymond Owens went to St. Stephen's today as a lot of the grass used to make the baskets were pulled by some 50 basket weavers. Yes, this sweet grass pull is the fifth time the Corps of Engineers has done this out here at their St. Stephen's site. I'm a fifth generation sweet grass basket weaver. Lynette Euson weaves baskets you can buy at Mount Pleasant's Waterfront Park. I was taught this art a little over 50 years ago by my great grandmother Maggie Jefferson Williams. And after her passing, I, con I continue to weave with my mother, Marilyn Dingle. Today, she was pulling wild sweet grass from the banks of the Rediversion Canal in St. Stephen. She says her great grandmother produced a quality product. And when she teaches you how to weave, you weave stitch for stitch, something nice and tightly woven. Some people stitch wine stitch, that's not tolerated. If she catches you winding, she'll rip it out and make you start all over again. It's an important skill to pass on to the many kids at Miracle Academy who helped pull today as well. The kids will also learn to weave baskets from this grass. Here I am today working with the seventh generation, my grandkids, and we're trying to keep that tradition going on. The right way or no way at all. The Army Corps of Engineers started holding this annual sweet grass pool when they discovered lots of natural sweet grass growing here near the canal. Each year uh, we actually invite all of the uh, local sweet grass pullers. So we go down to the market in Charleston and we go up Highway 17 where you see the sweet grass stands uh, and we invite those pullers to come and join us. Well, we're learning about our culture and that's good. So basically it's educational and fun at the same time. Well, this tradition is very important because see this tradition came over with my ancestors a little over 300 years ago and if we don't continue teaching the younger generation how to do it we won't have this um, art form anymore. So the next step, of course, is to let this grass dry out. And then, of course, there'll be baskets you can buy right here in the Lowcountry. In St. Stephen, I'm Raymond Owens. Count on two.